Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. So, I decided to give Capri Tools a shot. A lot of you have been asking me, what do I think about them? How's the quality? Uh, overall, if I was going to buy something from Capri, what would it be? So today, you can clearly see behind me here, I have an 88-piece master bit socket set in metric and SAE. It's going to cover our Allens, our Torx bits, and our E-Torx. Now I know for $50 cheaper, I could have gone with the gear wrench master set as I've never owned anything by Capri. I thought this might make for a good video, good opportunity for us to check out their 88 piece master set. This comes in at $175, again about $50 north of the gear wrench set. I'll put both sets down below so you can see which sets I was kind of going back and forth on. Um, the reason why I decided to get this master bit set wasn't just to try out a new product, in fact, I don't have a picture of it to show you, but take my word for it. Um, Joey was using my T30 at work and he broke all the teeth off of it. And that's one of the more common sizes that I use as far as Torx bits go. For this, I decided, you know what? I've got two Cornwall sets uh, that I've been utilizing for over five years now, maybe even closer to six. I think I'd like to go ahead and give a different company a shot. You guys already know how I feel about gear wrench, but I don't know how I feel about Capri. So this made for a great choice, I think, to be able to try out something new. I also picked up this Weasel 65700 Triton Spark Plug Extractor Set. My buddy Dorito in the Lucha Cabra, and I'll put his channel link down in the description. He has a Triton V10, and he wants to do a tune-up on it. So sometime here in the near-ish future when he comes out, I wanted to make sure that we actually had the special toolkit to do the tune-up on his van. So I went ahead and I ordered this off Amazon as well. I think it came at or around just under 90 bucks for this exact toolkit. I'll put the product links down below in the description again for you so you guys can check it out if you want to. But I wanted to make sure that we didn't run into a situation where if one of his spark plugs broke, that we didn't have the special toolkit to extract them. So for this reason, I decided to pick this kit up so we had it. Let's go ahead and open up this Capri Tools 88 piece master bit socket set take a look at how it's laid out and what pieces it comes with. Okay, so again, this is the 88 piece master bit socket set. Um, they cover you for your Torx bits, your E-Torx, and your Allens and SAE and metric. This set has quarter inch drive, three eighths drive, and half inch drive. In fact, I'll put a picture down here in an exploded view so you guys can pause it and see what kind of sizes it comes with. Okay, so first impressions, very nicely laid out. I like the way they start off with the metric, then move over to SAE, and then they move into their Torx. They give you a fairly long size Torx bit. I would say that this is approximately the same length that I have with my Cornwell set. Um, these sockets, if need be, you can punch them out of the socket, take them to a vise, and cut them down to a shorter length if you wanted something in the mid-range. That would be my recommendation if you're looking for a mid-length. Don't know that they actually sell mid-length Torx bits yet, but I will tell you what, there are more times than not that the short is too short and the long is too long. So for that, maybe not use your Capri set, but if you wanted to buy that gear wrench set, I would definitely cut that one down to a mid-size length. That's just my opinion. I mean, when you're spending about $175 for this kit versus the $125 for the other one, I say cut the one up that costs you the least amount if you want to make a mid-size. I really like the way they laid out this e-torx. They have you start from quarter inch and work their way up to three eighths before going down to the half inch that's just down below. So for that, I like the way that that's laid out. And then they do the same exact thing with your torx bits. You'll see here that they have T30, 27, 25, 20, 15. And then of course they go into the longer version for your hex. So if you wanted SAE or metric, they have it laid out very nicely here for you. Going over towards their smaller size Torx bits, you can see that they also have it laid out down here, working its way from the small size to the biggest size before transferring it up here. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's talk about the Allens. So over here for the short Allens, uh, these are not going to be your stubby Allens. Okay, they're not going to be the super shallow ones uh, like you guys saw the ones I picked up from Snap-on. These ones are going to be your typical regular sized Allens and these are going to be useful and handy in certain situations, especially when it comes to removing like transmission drain plugs or when it comes to cracking loose that transfer case drain and fill plug. Very nice kit, very nice kit. I'm very happy with all the different sizes that they cover, not just in the short but also in the long. 
Uh, like the little tiny foam insert they put in there, that just kind of helps take up that spacing or that gap between the upper and the lower row of sockets. That way they're not coming loose on you when you're packing it around. Again, even when it comes down to the overall thickness, I would think that for some of your beefier drawers that have a little bit more height to them, this is gonna fit perfect. I am curious to see how well that it fits in the US General. I will tell you that just kind of basing it off of first glance and eye, eyeballing it, I don't think this is gonna fit in our Harbor Freight 56 US General, but this kit will most definitely fit in the bottom drawer of my Jamestown. And I think that's probably the drawer that I will end up putting it in, mostly because I do utilize e-torx and torx bits and Allens quite regularly in the independent shop. Well guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions about Capri Tools. Do you have this set? Do you find it to be a worthwhile product? Would you recommend this set over, let's say, the gear wrench set that comes in at a little bit less cost? And if so, why? Do you agree with my opinion when it comes to cutting and resizing the mid-range size of longer Torx bits uh, with using a set that you didn't pay as much for uh, as you would something like this or even your Snap-on? Does Capri actually sell a short and stubby version of the Allen? I guess that would be another question for those of you that wanted to buy a stubbier Allen version. I'd be curious to know your thoughts and opinions on that set if they do sell it. Well guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's content. Thanks as always for watching. Hit the like button if you liked today's content. The dislike if you didn't. Share if you want to share, but share with me most importantly your thoughts about this product. Love to hear back from you. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.